All right, so we created that page. I showed you how to do the metadata for that page on AEM. Uh, we uh, edited the properties and uh, we were able to uh, change that content a little bit to make sure that it looks optimally uh, um, as far as the different viewports are concerned. Now, uh, I promised to show you how to hide and show content. Sometimes you want an image to appear on the desktop, but you don't want it to appear on the mobile uh, or on the tablet view. So very quickly, this is our page. This is what we created. That is what we have on our desktop, assuming that uh, we don't want this image to show up here or we don't want it to show up here. So let's say we want this image to show up before the text, which is the best practice for most of this content. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, copy that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and paste it out there. So we have two images showing up. If we go back here, you'll see that the two images are showing up. If we go back here, we'll have the two images showing up. Of course, they, because we copied and pasted this image, it's inheriting all the properties we already set. So you can see that it comes up smaller here, but it comes up full size here. And of course, it comes up uh, the same uh, smaller size here. So what we're trying to do here, we're trying to hide this. So we want our image to show up there. And we probably want it to show up maybe full screen. You know, why not? So let's go ahead and uh, fill it in there. And uh, we want that to be in. So we go back to our emulator and we make sure that is selected. So we say we want to hide that. So we select that and we are going to click on that layout and uh, we want to hide that component. Very quickly, let's do a test here. Once we go back to our emulator, we go to a desktop, you will see that both images are showing up. Of course, when we go back to a Galaxy, you can see only one image is showing up. So then we have another task here. We want to be able to hide this image. Or we want to be able to hide this here on desktop. So again, we go to our emulator, make sure we um, select that iPad Retina or smaller screen, we go ahead and click on that, click on that, and hide that. Now, very quickly, if we go back to our emulator, we'll see that on desktop, both images are showing up. But then we go back to our iPad, and we see that we have one image the way we want it. And that's the same for the, uh, for the mobile devices. So we go back here to our desktop and say, we finally want this image to appear the way it was on the desktop, which is below the content. So we'll have to go up here and hide that image. So we click on that and we hide it. And that, under natural circumstances, should be able, wait, wait. Under natural circumstances, that should be able to reflect. Let's see if that works. Yes, it works. So we have our image showing up there below. We have our image showing up there and the content below we have that there but then we go to our desktop and we have that opposite so you can see we have that and so if we preview that page on desktop we can see that that page looks great the image is below but when we start scrolling or we resize that page to try and see the smaller size of that page if we go there and say um edit go there and preview that you can see our image automatically remains up there and of course it remains up there when it comes to our uh, mobile devices so there you have it that's very simple that is how you show and hide content and you're able to play around with that content to get optimal um, uh, rendering of your content as far as the different viewports are concerned in my next video, i show you a few other tricks on how to set up a site, how to um, set up the information structure, and probably do a few other tricks on it.